Hey all, this is part 10 of the video. I'm back and this might be the last section I do because it's getting a little bit late and I'm almost kind of done as well. Um, what I've been doing just off camera is I've been um, importing the the new artwork into the project. So, so just to kind of display what I've been doing here, I'll open up my uh, my explorer. Uh, sorry, my my finder window. And what I've got here, this is the this is the project folders here. So, inside of Xcode, underneath, uh, if I can find it, ba -ba -ba, underneath the resources UI ball folder, and underneath the button folder, and so on. What I'm doing is I'm just replacing the images. Um, for example, in the ball folder here, all I did was just highlight all of these then delete them from this project folder and then copy the ones that the, the team had sent me. So I've just got this ball folder here, highlighted all of them and then just copied them into this folder here and I've counted each one. I've got a couple of problems though, uh, as you can see in Xcode there, just a couple of errors like, like a few of these uh, images are missing. It might be because they weren't required or it might be because the, the image that was already supplied in the original pack was okay. So I've, I, after deleting them out, what I've got to do is just go back into the trash, into my trash bin here, and find them, and put them back. So I've got this um, mm, button close unselected. Uh, I wonder if. Hmm. So this one here, you see button close unselected, and this is in the buttons folder. Uh, button close selected, we've got, but we've not got unselected. So I'm just going to right click and put back. So I've done this kind of quick guys, but if you are doing a similar project like this, just make sure that you've got all of your, uh, all of the required assets that you need. Because when the team sent me the, the artwork files, I didn't check them like thoroughly. I was kind of busy and I just said, okay, great. I'll, I'll put them in. Uh, but the team seems pretty cool. So if anything big is missing, I'm sure I could get back to them and say, Hey, this, this thing was missing. Uh, but so far these are only very small things. And so that one was missing and duh, duh, duh. oh so you see I think there we go so it's just updated here the no ads icon PNG let's see if I can find that so it's not in this folder here as you can see it's not inside of the main project um, I'm just gonna go to this N for no ads wherever it may be uh, M N no ads icon PNG and yeah, I don't think this is actually in the game, you see, so that's why they've not updated it, but it's still part of the project, so it needs to be in there, or the code will reference it and it, and it won't be there. So you see, and that's just gone off red now, so that's cool. And then unlock all icon. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this in the game, so it looks like it's not necessary, and that's why the team didn't give it to me, um, which is fair enough. Unlock all icon PNG. That's the one, isn't it? Let me put that back and go back to Xcode and there you can see there's no more errors there so hopefully it should be okay I'll do a clean and I'll show you what it looks like in the game and I'll also import another folder as well just so you guys can see uh, run and I'm sorry as these videos have gone on I think I started this this video series with such high energy um, and as these videos have gone on through the day I've just sort of got slower and slower and slower I must be more tired than than what I originally thought. Uh, last night was not, I didn't sleep very good, so that's why I'm kind of speaking slow and not having that much energy, so I apologize for that. But I still hope you're finding something useful and interesting in these videos. So it looks like it's building okay. Yeah, that's cool. That didn't happen before. I didn't get the, the pop up, so. I think we're uh, I think we're pretty good. Yeah, it's copying all of these new files now as well. You can see uh, what I had to do as well is I had to clean the project. By the way, guys, I think what had happened is if you don't clean the project, the original files are still on your phone or device or inside the project somewhere. Uh, so if you don't clean it, it'll keep the old images. So you've got to clean it to get those new images that you imported into you know into the folder here using uh, Finder or Explorer. All right, so now it's running. And I'd seen the icons before, uh, so let me just cancel these ads. 
Okay, so there you can see some new artwork in that one. I've not changed the background or anything yet, but you can see those new padlocks uh, and also that back button at the top is new. So if I just go into one of the levels, there you go, you can see the animal heads there, also the buttons at the top and the bottom as well, which is that second folder. Um, so that's looking pretty good. Obviously the background is the main thing now. One of the problems I'm seeing at the moment is that when I go into some of the higher levels, the animal heads are getting reduced in size and they're turning out pixelated. They're looking kind of blurry. You might be able to see that. And if you go to one of the bigger boards, they look even more blurry. And yeah, that's, as you can see there, there seems to be like no kind of like smoothing or anti-aliasing or whatever it is. When I did that in the original project with my PNG files, it seemed okay. So I've got to figure this out. Um, the other cool thing is, guys, I was going to say as well, is that all of this artwork that, I, that I'd that i shown you here, I'll just stop that. Um, let me just show you some of this artwork. So uh, I'm actually showing this before. So you see all these animal heads here. These, yeah. these are pretty cool images. I, I think these are very cute and, and kind of universally, Lewis. it's a Lewis. universal style. Um, baby, let the dog sleep. Yeah, baby. My wife's keeping the dog awake. It's like knackered. Um, so you see all of these images. These are kind of cute and cool, and I can I can use these in other games. For example, the uh, the candy. Um, uh, what's the latest version? The, the the clumsy cookie traffic blitz, or what was the other code? The other one was the uh, blitz that candy dash. These these could be used as well. Um, so I mean, this is this is really cool. And then there's the dog one somewhere. Where's that? Where's that dog? Was he at the top? I mean, these look cool just in icons, you know, and, and I could use this in the game for sure, in, in another game. Like, this this looks cool. So this artwork is really good, and I can apply this to other games as well. So even even if I pay 500 for this particular uh, uh, art package for one game, I can apply this to other games as well. So I'm getting my return, in, return on investment that way as well. So recycle artwork where you can in different games. The player still gets entertained if they download your game, and, and it's, it's a small, fun game. So always do that because artwork can take a long time and it can be costly as well. Uh, so in fact, I'm speaking with one of my friends now and we're, we're starting to cooperate a little bit together on publishing a game. Uh, and just the other day, we were talking about how which artwork in his current games could be reused. So, you know, always, uh, always consider that, guys. Always think about that. So, all right, let's move on to this next folder anyway. So this check folder here. Um... Okay, that's a pretty small one. And you see here, this is the check folder that was supplied to me. And I think what we can do Lewis. is we might be able to just copy this folder and then it'll, it'll copy over everything that it was necessary. I'm just gonna click Command and C. Click on this folder here, click Command and V. And I'm gonna replace the ones that were in there. Uh, replace, replace, replace. And so I might update this image a little bit, and that's a white star there, isn't it? And okay, and we've got this main folder here. I might have a go at this one as well. Louis. Uh, Louis. Hmm. Louis. This pan folder doesn't seem to exist, and it might not be necessary. Perhaps uh, I don't think it is because I've not seen these images. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I'll have to check them carefully next time of course so um, okay so let's let's build that one there I'll just use that as an example I don't, I don't want to do this next main folder here just in case there's any problems in both and then I can narrow it down if there's a problem in this check folder then at least I know where the problem is and I can fix that so we've just imported that let's um, let's go into our folder structure here check folder and Looks like, yeah, we're okay there. So, products, let's clean this bad boy. And let's build this and see if this uh, see if this runs okay. I'm going to wipe it off my phone as well, just in case it doesn't remove files from the device as well. I'm not sure if it does or doesn't if you do a clean install. Um, if you clean the project, I mean. So let's click, click on run. Oh, but this is um, this is turning out to be quite a fast reskin. It's it's all definitely a lot faster than last time. One because I'm not doing the artwork, and two because I've already been through it once. 
um, and getting the game out done in a day is, is good. But obviously, like I've said before, you know, I mentioned it. I, I did pay five hundred dollars for the artwork, so I'll reuse the artwork as much as possible in other games as well. Um, even possibly my Ninja Birds X game would could use the artwork because it is flat two D and that that could work as well. Okay, let's Lewis, just get this running. Lewis, Lewis. Lewis. What's wrong with um, it? What's wrong with it? He's tired. He's sleeping, baby. Leave him alone. He's very, very, very tired. Leave him to sleep, okay? Worry. He's not he's totally fine, baby. It's just he's Worry really about tired. Him. Baby, he's tired. He does he seems very dog is extremely tired, it needs to sleep, not not talk. No, he seems not comfortable. He seems asleep and very comfortable. Leave him alone, baby. No, baby, it's too tight clothes. I don't think so, baby, or else you'd be wriggling around, I'm sure. So anyway, back to the video. All right, so this is running now. Um, the probably, yeah, this ad pop-up, let me cancel those. Do, do, do. So, uh, I'm just gonna jump in to one of the five by five boards. Um, I'll complete one of the levels. Lewis, Lewis. Okay, there you go. Oh, so it was just this star on the top right that was changed. I, I might change the color of that later. I'm not too concerned right now. Uh, I go to the next level and it goes away. I go back to the level selection. Oh, there you go. So the star, that star just appears on the top there. Um, I might change that a little bit because it's, it's just a pure Lewis, white star without Lewis. any... Uh, transparency on it so I might change that all right so let's just do this one more folder guys and I might leave it at that because the rest of this is just going to be me importing these testing it making sure it runs on the iPad and then submitting it to the App Store and uh, you know the main point of this video is really just to show you guys what reskinning is and how it works in this particular project and you might find it uh, useful or interesting or it might inspire you to do reskinning more as well because uh, you know, working smart is the thing for 2014, for me anyway, hopefully. So let's uh, copy this and I'm just clicking on the folder here. I'm going to right click, uh, sorry, con uh, control and command and V. I'm going to apply this to all and I'm going to replace all of them. So there we go. So now we've got this background here, and these are the big ones. This is the alert, the, the backgrounds to the buttons. Uh, backgrounds to buttons, da, 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 the main menu image, which is a big one. So this is the full name of the game, the Clumsy Pet Day Saga, the Cat, Dog, Bird, and Dragon Puzzle Game. We'll see if, I, if, if Apple has any problem with that name at all, because it is kind of large. Uh, if they do have a problem, I'll just cut down the name a little bit, because uh, they might say that, oh, you know, the, the name is too big and you can't do that. All right, let's go back into here. Let me quickly check that those files have been imported okay in the Xcode side of things. So there it is. Yeah, that's looking good to me. Product, let's clean this bad boy again. And yeah, I'm not going to bother wiping it off the device. It's fine. I'll notice if it's running or not. So, all right, click on run. And we'll see how this goes. Um, so yeah, what, what I'll do, uh, I'll leave the video at that, guys, because it's been it's been quite a long one, and I don't think there's going to be much else different that I'm doing in this video, which you might, um, you know, find very interesting or useful for this particular video series. Uh, as I said, the only thing that I'm going to do next is test this on an iPad, uh, finish importing all the artwork first, test it on my iPod, test it on the iPad, and then submit it through iTunes, through through Xcode and submit it to the App Store. The I'm not going to do any SEO or screenshots yet uh, in iTunes. I'm going to put it into the queue, make sure that it's in the review queue, and then maybe a couple of days later I'll start to add the screenshots, description, keywords, and so on. Uh, and I usually do that for most of my games, is I get the, for iTunes, I get it in the queue first, and then I add in the screenshots like maybe two or three days later. Uh, for Amazon and Google Play, I do that all at the same time because Amazon doesn't let you update the screenshots or description once you've clicked the submit button. And Google Play obviously goes live as soon as you click submit or a couple of hours later. Uh, so that's what I do for iTunes anyway, just get it in the queue. 
I, I, there have been a couple of times where I've actually forgot to update the keywords in time and it was submitted and approved. And then I had a version online which had like the wrong screenshots or the wrong keywords. Just make sure if you do use that tactic is don't leave it too long because they might approve it fast sometimes. Uh, I've had uh, apps that have been approved in like three days or four days as opposed to like eight days sometimes. So, all right, cool. So there you go. That's the front screen there. Uh, it does look better. Um, you know, it's not the best looking game in the world. I think I think it kind of looks a little bit, it looks cute in some places, but uh, the buttons don't really match too well with the screen, but it's okay. I think that, I think it's not a big, big problem. Uh, that looks kind of cool, that page. The level select page, it's got a nice background. It's kind of cute. Um, that's the level select screen. I might change these border, the squares behind the numbers. Uh, let's jump into one level. There you go, and that's what a level looks like. I might make these squares semi-transparent, actually, because they're completely... Um, the blue squares there are completely covering up the background, so I might open that in Photoshop and make it semi-transparent, and make that'll make it look a little bit better. Uh, let's complete one level. Yeah, I don't know how to complete it. Oh, my God. Is that it? Uh, okay, so there you go, and there's that pop-up as well. And that pop-up is... It is transparent, semi-transparent. That's weird. So I'm going to change that for sure. I think I think it's better if I if I don't have that. Um, I can't tell which one it is. I don't know if this is this one or. Huh. Anyway, I'll figure that out and and I'll 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 go in and I'll change it so that it's not uh, semi-transparent. Uh, I think it'd be much better if it has uh, if that's completely opaque. Uh, so it's going to be one of these. All, all I do is open it in, in Photoshop and then just make sure it's not... Uh, and just maybe layer it a few times so there's no transparency. Yes. Uh, but that's looking okay. That's that's yes. a brand new game. Obviously, icon screenshots, I'll put them in there as well. As I said, once it's finished and I tested, I'll submit to the App Store. Uh, the only way that I do that is pretty simple. If you guys haven't done that before, it's just you go to Product, uh, you, go, you click on Archive, and then when the uh, the archive window pops up, if you don't see it, you just need to go to Window Organizer. And then there's a button in there, and I'll show you this. If you go to Organizer, and if it'll pop up today. My Mac always seems to do this. If you click on here, and then go to Validate, that will check that there's no problems with it. And then if you click Distribute, It'll distribute it to the App Store and do the upload and everything. Um, I've not checked the provisioning files in here or anything, but I'll leave that for another day or a video if you guys are interested. And uh, you, you know, but let me know in the comments, everybody. Uh, as always, thank you so much for the support, the likes, the subscribes. If you subscribe now, if you haven't, please click that button. Please click the like button below. That just helps the channel grow and, and allows me to kind of focus on it more and make a little bit of revenue with the channel as well. Um, uh, any comments or questions please leave them down below uh, have a great weekend guys and I'm going to speak to you all soon take care bye bye